Capitals across the nation remained heavily protected today amid the inauguration. However, it appears that no state capital faced any sort of imminent threat. Our State House reporter Austin Goss was at the South Dakota State Capitol today and tells us more about the updated security presence there. Austin, good evening. Good evening, Brian and Kelsey. That's right, the South Dakota State Capitol has seen an upgraded security presence since Saturday, preparing for this day. However, today it was business as usual. People at the South Dakota State Capitol were prepared for anything Wednesday. Legislators said that they had not seen anything like the security presence here before. There was a noticeable presence of more security today, more highway patrolmen um, in the Capitol. They're, like you said, they're at every, um, they're at every entrance. They were at the entrance that is already secure entrance this morning when I walked in. However, while the show of force was on display, the protests the FBI warned about never materialized here or at capitals across the nation. I have seen the highway patrol more visible. I've seen their security dog, the patrol dog, out sniffing even in our lockers. Frankly, it makes me feel comfortable to know that there's a good, strong presence. They always do a great job, but I think especially right now. Neither the Department of Public Safety or the National Guard has spoke about the increased security presence here over the past week. However, legislators all continue to echo the same sentiment. I definitely feel very secure in this building. Being one of the only state capitals that is located off of an interstate is also incredibly helpful in um, that security, knowing that we are a little bit harder to get to. I asked both the South Dakota National Guard and the Department of Public Safety exactly how much longer they expect these extra security measures to be in place. However, they did not get back to me. Live in Pierre, Austin Goss, Dakota News Now. Austin, thank you.